What's up, guys? Welcome to another trade breakdown video. So this trade involves the Nashville Predators and the Arizona Coyotes. So Jason Zucker is sent to Nashville. In exchange, the Coyotes receive a 2024 Dallas-owned uh, sixth-round pick. So there's no salary retained. Nashville takes on the full 5.3 million, which dampered the return. So we saw so many trades leading up to this day that involved, you know, salary retention from you know, the other team. Um, but we've also seen, you know, three-way trades where there was a third team, you know, eating up some salary so they would receive a draft pick in return. But in this case, there is no salary retention. So Zucker was held out of the, the Arizona Coyotes lineup. So I was thinking that, you know, the trade was going to be too good to be true. And that's why they had to trade a guy like Jason Zucker. But, um, that was not the case. They just get a sixth round pick. You know, I would have thought that he would have at least fetched a third round pick, but because they're taking on the full salary, I guess they're like, okay, well, we're going to pay less than what he's actually worth. So that kind of sucks for the, the Predators. Um, I mean, sorry, that sucks for the Arizona Coyotes, but it's really good for the Predators. Um, and they add inexperience, you know, forward. So I think Zucker would be fitting into the left wing position on the second line, taking over Dennis uh, Garyanov's spot. They just traded Yakov Trenin uh, yesterday. They also added uh, Anderson Dol Dolan and Anthony Bavolier. So there's going to be some movement around the uh, forward core in terms of uh, finalizing a um, lineup uh, for the next couple of games heading into the playoffs. You know, Nashville's been very hot as of late and, you know, not trading too many um, assets away for, you know, rentals, but they've been paying very little and getting, you know, great returns in terms of the players that they get in return. And I do believe that, you know, Nashville is a very underrated team and they could do some damage in the playoffs. And Barry Trotz has stated since he took over the position of general manager that he wants to make the playoffs. He sees his team as a competitive team and he'll do anything possible to help this team uh, make it to the playoffs. And we're seeing that right now. So uh, Jason Zucker has 25 points in 51 games, nine goals and 16 assists last year. He had 48 points with the Pittsburgh Penguins. It was a huge uh, bounce back year uh, for Zucker. He really did not do well with the Pittsburgh Penguins. It just wasn't a fit there until his last season. Um, you know, ends up signing as a UFA with the Arizona Coyotes. It was a one-year deal, which ends at the end of the season. So he's going to be a UFA, um, you know, this off season. So 2024, 2025, he's going to be able to sign with anybody for that season. So, uh, you know, 32 years old, $5.3 million. Obviously, Nashville has so much cap space to get this deal done. Um, they definitely didn't have to hope that Arizona would have to retain because, you know, they have so much cap space. There would be no excuse, you know. Um, just taking a look at it here, um, they have $33 uh, million in current cap space. So that's honestly uh, crazy. and. Um, you know, uh, I, I think this is a really smart move in terms of what they do here. Um, adding a player with experience, a player that, you know, was doing fairly well uh, with the Arizona Coyotes last year, um, had a huge bounce back year, but is not the player he once was when he had a 64-point campaign with the Minnesota Wild back in 2017-2018. So they pay very little for a former second-round pick. Uh, drafted 59th overall in 2010 by the Minnesota Wild, and they get their guy. But uh, I don't really know what the Nashville Predators are going to be doing after this trade. I think they're pretty much done. I heard that, you know, they were supposed to be sellers, but because of their hot streak and them, uh, you know, pretty much distancing themselves from the other teams and, you know, holding on tight to a wild card spot, um, and, and having a very high chance of making the playoffs, you know, they started being conserv conservative uh, buyers. And, you know, with these last couple of moves of Anderson Dolan, Bavolier, Zucker, and trading away uh, Yakov Trenin, obviously that indicates to me that 
uh, you know, they're thinking about playoffs. They're not going to be selling. Uh, you know, there was Alexandre uh, Carrier, who was rumored to be on the move. They're deciding to keep him. Uh, there was rumors about UC Saros as well being on the move, but that's not going to happen. If anything, there will probably be, you know, off-season moves if they decide to move anybody uh, on this current roster. But guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below who won this deal. I think it's pretty obvious who won. It's the Nashville Predators. But, you know, obviously you guys have uh, conflicting views sometimes. So I'd like to hear it in the comment section below. We'd like to hear from both fan bases, the Nashville Predators, uh, Arizona Coyotes. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Young Guns Podcast. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.